Alright guys, first off, let me introduce Alpha here. <laughs> you did it! You remembered me! Yay! <laughs> so, once again, we're playing Bad in Theater. Uh, how have you thought of this game so far? <laughs> oh, Are we ever going to get a real good ending, or is it all bad ending? I haven't a clue. <laughs> I have not either. Well, I'm, so wait I'm waiting on some good bad endings, though. I'm ready, I'm ready to laugh again. It was hilarious. <laughs> It's it's it is a really interesting game. Like, um, so supposedly over forty en endings, one of them has Dang. to be good. <laughs> so, with that said, let's get started. All right, let's do it. We're gonna pick the hero then this time. Yep. Okay, skip all the way to the decision making. Mhm. Mm flee like a coward. What? Okay, let's try it. Okay, I guess we can try it. Forgetting your pride, <laughs> you escape <laughs> with your life. Wait, you can't return home now. Your reputation will be ruined. You wonder. Good, good, good. Yeah, come back. <laughs> you wonder how you'll ever be able to rescue that maiden all on your own if you can't even fight some lousy demon underlings. So you're forced to. You're still forced to kill them no matter what. You'll take your chances at the castle. You're a hero after all. This is your job. So he's like running back and forth on this path. <laughs> <laughs> Demons are like, uh, is he crazy? Oh, oh he, cool. He, he somehow found a way around them then. Yeah, okay, cool. After a nice. long trek, you make it to the castle's front gates. You are faced with an army of demons that all look very intimidating. There's no way to sneak past these monsters if you want to reach the overlord. So we're going to ask them. again. You go up to the nearest demon and explain why you've come here. They stare you down and you feel very uncomfortable. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that smile right there. It's like <laughs> right. But they I seem to trust you and escort you directly to the Overlord's chambers. That was easy. Right? Okay. The Good ending. <laughs> yeah. The Overlord and Maiden seem to be in the middle of a, some casual conversation when you barge in so that's what they're calling it now <laughs> no, <just> right <laughs> that word wasn't what we were reading <laughs> you all look at each other in surprise and confusion this is no time to hesitate destroy the overlord oh ask the God. maiden what's going on <laughs> which one ask the maiden we have to let's try to get a good ending even though it's all yeah even though every ending ends badly. <laughs> That's the maiden, what's going on? The maiden explains that she was never actually captured and that she came here on her own volition. That was a pretty dangerous thing of her to do, but no one got hurt. So at least there's that. You ask her to return to town with you to reassure everyone of her safety. This bad ending is you return to town by yourself because the maiden wants to stay, I bet. Oh my god. So you're soaking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's returning, actually. The Overlord allows the two of you to leave, and you casually exit the castle. Uh... <gasps> they're over they're doing the overthrow right now. Oh, my oh goodness. Oh, my goodness. You pause when you see a group of suspicious demons standing near the entrance. They're talking about assassinating their Overlord. This proves to you that demons really are foul creatures. We have to let her... We have to tell her about this. I like how the colors all of, all of a sudden right? changed. <laughs> yeah. It's music, though. You don't understand what the maiden is thinking. The world is better off with less demons. They're all cold, ruthless creatures that should be destroyed. But He's it, gonna get killed. <laughs> yeah. It, it sounds like if they overthrow the overlord, then the demons probably could be hostile to humans after that. Yeah. Because they could do whatever they want. And those same creatures have just notified, noticed you eavesdropping. The maiden takes off into the castle, and you have no choice but to follow. As she was taking a nap again. <laughs> <laughs> you burst. It's a small bed. Small bed. <laughs> it is. It looked bigger in, the, in her scene before. Look, she's her her legs are like curled up, <laughs> and she's like touching the ends almost. I bet her legs just dangle off. <laughs> You burst into the hole. And where's her tail? Everyone has a tail except for her. She's she's hiding under her skirt. 
<laughs> you you burst into the overlord's room. The maiden frantically tries to communicate what you just overheard. A demon underling barges in next, calling you liars. Oh, come on. Oh, really? At least dude? all our characters are in one place right now. <laughs> yeah, right? It's followed by the group from the entrance who shifts the blame back onto the little one. Oh! <gasps> Ooh. These demons only care about themselves. How low can they be? You begin shouting at them. You? Wait, oh, the hero's what? shouting at them. Yeah. And the whole I, room... I, me too. <laughs> yeah. The, the whole room dis dissolves into noise until the overlord yells for everyone to shut their traps. She threatens them with violence. This overlord is no better than her subjects. Oh, don't tell me he's going to want to kill them now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if they were all humans and they were arguing like that, he would think the same thing. Yeah. Come on. You grip your sword tightly. If you have to cut through everyone here to get this maiden to safety, you certainly will. She could definitely just walk out at any time. Yeah, yeah. I like how her face is orange now. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> it's you. It's me. Just got to <laughs> brighten the redness here. <laughs> right? And give her like a little goatee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Parker headed. Just keep just keep the clothing the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the group of demons hiss to face e to each other before shutting the door, leaving the runt of the l litter behind. They're so messed up. I know. Why are they hissing at each other though? That's why I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> you glance around for another exit, but there isn't one. You have a terrible feeling about this. Oh my oh. goodness. <laughs> My gosh. In an instant, the whole room is in flames. What kind of demonic magic is this? What is going on? I thought she was no stronger than the rest of them. Right? Unless that's their assassination plan. They planted that in her room. Yeah, exactly. Oh my goodness. They probably set the room on fire. <laughs> While she was napping. <laughs> oh my goodness. The underling pounds on the door. Upset that it's been, it's been betrayed. I'm getting confused with the okay. pronouns. <laughs> yeah, me too. You join it, <laughs> vowing to slay the cowardly <laughs> demons on the other side. So I think this is their assassination attempt. Yeah, it has to be. Oh gosh. Oh uh, my god. <laughs> the next moment, the Overlord has taken hold of the Underling. It's crying for mercy. Oh my lord. She thrusts her claws into her underling's chest and it lets out a horrible scream. So this is her. This the fire <laughs> thing is her. Yeah. Definitely. It must be like a power from the third eye or something. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Does that mean the rest of us in here burn to death too? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> She's like so long, brother. <laughs> Sibling rivalry. <laughs> <laughs> right? They literally have the same hair color, so that's what I thought. <laughs> you back away. You won't be the next target of her rage. Oh my, this is getting graphic. <laughs> <laughs> she continues to dig and twist her claws into its limp body. You can no longer watch. You look to the maiden. She's crying, hands clasped together in prayer. To have faith in a time like this, you envy her. That's all she can do, honestly. She yeah. can't do anything else. Yeah, she can't even move anywhere. There's flames everywhere. No, I'd be like, hey, okay, we job. She can't do anything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. She, can't, she can't cook. She can't clean. Yeah, right. <laughs> the two of you, the Overlord and the Underling's corpse, are all consumed by flames. Oh, so we all die there. Ah. Oh. This might have been the assassination attempt and not her power. <laughs> <laughs> Resigned hero ending. I wonder if we took the underlying disloyalty off. And do the same thing? Yeah, I wonder if he would have, like, survived since the assassination was never a thing. And they oh, just yeah, out. because he, met, he didn't agree to the assassination, right? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do this. All right. We just fast forward to that. Yeah, just skip the parts. Uh, flee like a coward. Skip. Uh... Ask if they'll let you in. Skip. Uh, ask what the maiden's doing. 
Yep. Skip. You tried to make conversation with the maiden, but she's been pretty quiet since leaving the overlord's room. Is she shy? She wanted to stay, bro. Yeah, she fell in love with that overlord. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she suddenly stops in her tracks, and you turn your head to ask what the deal is. Oh. The, the, they're still overthrowing her. Oh, the overlord's castle is engulfed in flames. You can't help but feel relieved you got the maiden out of there when you did, but... She suddenly takes oh. off toward the burning castle. Panic sets in, and you follow to try to stop her. The smoke is so thick you've already lost sight of her. What is she thinking? It's too dangerous to continue. You feel hopeless. You stand alone at the castle gates. Your body won't allow you to take another step forward. No, going in there would be suicide. You'll return to the villagers and tell them there was nothing you could do. The villagers wanted her to be a sacrifice. What are you talking about? You were too late. The maiden was claimed by the demons. I think to the villagers, this will be like a win-win situation right? for them. They got rid of that annoying little girl that they hated <laughs> all along. Oh my god. She's, she got bullied, I swear. And it looks like the entire demon castle is no longer there. So it's like, but that's, I thought we got rid of the assassination thing. That's what I didn't get. The, the disloyalty thing, I think, was part of him running away when the hero slaughtered everyone. Oh, okay. So that's what I think. Then, oh, okay. So, let's see. Or like bystander, bystander, bystander hero and overlord tyrant and then pick the maiden to see the story. Yes. Yeah. Alright, skip. Which one? Shout for a hero or introduce? I'm curious. Shout for a hero. Let's just... You See yell, if anyone comes. But a hero does yeah. not come. <laughs> the demon is put off by your sudden shout and asks you to keep it down. You apologize. <laughs> <laughs> so I think either way, if he was hungry, you would have got eaten. No matter what right. choice. Yeah. yeah. They seem more confused than hostile, which totally catches you off guard. <sighs> okay, hero comes in. A hero enters the room. Okay, come on. There's no blood on There's him. There's no so. blood on him. Explain the situation, reassure him that you were never in danger. Apologize. They're both happy and the demon looks so annoyed. <laughs> but really, didn't anyone read the note you left? Jeez. You apologize for causing trouble, but really, didn't anyone read the note you left? Jeez. <laughs> the hero asks if you'll return to the village with him to give everyone the news of your safety. The overlord allows the two of you to leave, and you give her a little wave as you exit the room. You'll be back soon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she has her eyes on her. <laughs> right? She's like... <laughs> You're about halfway back to the village when you feel something is off. Unable to shake your concern, you look back over your shoulders. Okay. You stop it's in all your the tracks. Same. Yeah, it's all the same, except for it's her perspective. The castle is engulfed in flames! Is the Overlord alright? You can't return to the village like this. You have to know. You have to be sure everyone is safe. <laughs> I want to see if we, if we, maybe we go past the flames. Her story. Yeah, yeah, because he didn't proceed, but she, yeah. she was in there. You've already taken off before the hero can even think of stopping you. You scan the fleeing demons, but the Overlord isn't among them. Okay, she is in. Against your better judgment, you rush into the burning castle to find her. You quickly reach the overlord's room, but the door is shut tight. The handle is too hot to touch. You're too weak to force it open. You pound your fists against the door hopelessly. I'm, I'm, I'm actually impressed that she can breathe through all that. Yeah. I'll be gasping and choking for her. It's the power of love. <laughs> <laughs> burning. Burning love. <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking? This is all because you'd forgotten your role. Only a hero could pull this kind of thing off. Oh my gosh. You start to She's cough. She's useless. <laughs> the smoke <laughs> is too thick. You can hardly breathe. You realize you haven't got much time left now. You desperately head toward the stairs to save yourself. But the fire spread faster than you expected. You won't make it outside. You. Oh god. 
This lo- oh god, this looks terrible. <laughs> right? You can't help but laugh. What a joke. <laughs> a maiden saving the overlord? You can be whatever you want. <laughs> right? <laughs> if you just stayed true to your role, things wouldn't have ended like this. This is exactly the kind of punishment you deserve. My god. Yeah, this seems so depressing right now. <laughs> You let okay, the- we can't we we can't, we can't leave this on this note. We, got- <laughs> we need one more. <laughs> yeah, we we uh, we need it. Okay, that that was sad. <laughs> you let the demon fire cleanse your rotten soul. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> she didn't seem rotten at all. <laughs> right? Oh my god! If anything, she was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she was nothing. She she was a blank slate. She was just a girl. <laughs> yeah, a girl who kept being lied to. <laughs> right. Selfless maiden and be. Remember, he she didn't get eaten, but he slaughtered anyone regardless because he thought that she was already captured. Yeah, but if I don't choose the options to kill anyone. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So so she still gets eaten by him. Yeah, I swear, I want him to have the belly. Okay, I so want the food belly, baby. And when this loyal gets involved in the plot to kill the overlord. Yes. Uh, st- right. Still do that? Yep. Okay, and then... No, no, no. Let, I don't want to... Yeah. Yeah, let's not yeah. do that. Um, And she still... She, she can still be polite. Yeah. And get eaten. And... <laughs> Uh, I don't know if prefers not to solve things through violence. Yeah, do that. Okay, and then we pick Overlord. That, that, that would mean like he doesn't want to kill him. Yeah. He doesn't resort. Yeah. Okay, so let's do Overlord. Round. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, skip. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tell him get back to work. Yeah, yeah. get back to work. You give them a lecture about responsibility, unquestioning obedience. Your servant ought to do what they're told, whether they like it or not. They look really unhappy with you, but you're sure they'll thank you for this later. Venturing too far from the castle tends to spell death. And he still eats her anyways. Um, (laughs) You dismiss the underling, lie down in your nice and comfy overlord bed. (laughs) All that. That, (laughs) That's a coffin, my guy. (laughs) <laughs> All that lecturing made you want to take a nap. You fall asleep pretty quick. Just another one of your amazing talents as the Overlord. Oh, okay. Is sleeping? Nope, woke up now. Oh. The, the hero didn't kill anyone and was brought in. You are awakened by one of your underlings. They've brought you a hero who inquires about a missing maiden. Yo, look. Okay, I was going to say, look at his neck. His little stick neck. Oh, the, 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 the <laughs> demon? No, his, oh, him his, from uh, afar? Shadow, yeah. You tell him you don't know anything. Humans never really visit this place. He believes you and goes home. Really? Oh my, wow, okay. Okay, because he picked the, the route not to kill her. Yeah. To your surprise, you figured he might try to fight you, but you're glad to get back to your nap instead. <laughs> Jeez. Until you wake up to something completely unexpected. Oh my god, this oh still happens. Oh my gosh. Maybe because we yelled at him. Maybe, but he's not disloyal. Yeah, that's true. Everything around you is being engulfed by flames. What's going on? You try to escape, but something's blocking the door. You're having trouble fa- forcing it open. What is it, this? Someone didn't. Well, definitely not the maiden. Yeah, definitely not the maiden. Someone didn't want you getting out. Are you being usurped? They have zero foresight. What castle will they rule from? If this one burns. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, she has a freaking wind balcony. She could just go out. <laughs> just, just jump out, right? Yeah, she has windows. I would have like busted the windows. Get your, get your blankets. Try to make a rope. <laughs> Something. She's a demon. She can fly. Whatever. <laughs> you don't want to believe that your underlings have betrayed you, but this is no accident. Those ungrateful peoples. Hmm. <laughs> Demons. You choke on the thick black smoke from the fire. You can't believe you're being done in by a bunch of cowards. You, you'll you see them in heck. Oh my gosh. This was terrible. I don't... I'm not... Uh, I'm not satisfied with that ending. <laughs> I, want, I want to see his belly. I, I, I feel like that is a scene. 
Ooh. Or actually, let's do the underling. Maybe we can save her. Maybe we can save the underling. Save the overlord. Yeah. Okay, but we still Because the hero and the maiden don't save her. And we the still lady... choose to eat her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to eat her. Right. Skip. She's surprisingly cool with it, so she gives us a day off. Mm-hmm. Set outside. Atmosphere. Yep. Oh, maiden. She greets Ooh, a snack. She greets you and says she has a favor to ask. You consider your options. Gobble her up. Mm, yep. Maidens yeah. aren't the best meal, but you figure you should live up to your demon name and strike back against the humans. <laughs> This is probably wow. the first ever human he's ever right. eaten. <laughs> you start devouring a maiden without uh, so much as a second thought and feel quite proud of that. Oh, I got. I hope we see him going back with the belly. <laughs> I know, me too. Oh my god. Aww. He. A slight belly. He's a little belly. But I was hoping it was, like, huge. Me too. <laughs> Other humans would surely praise you with. With curses, praise you with curses. Right, that's what I was like, what? <laughs> if they were around to see, oh man, if only someone could have been watching. Oh my gosh, watch oh my God. watching. Time to find an audience for your weak demon. You, your weak. You know, what am I saying? For your evil deeds. <laughs> you wander. So he's going to. So he's wandering to the village. Yes, he wants those those <laughs> praises of cursing. <laughs> he wants death. That's what he wants. Oh my God. Don't tell me we get beat to death with rocks. <laughs> the people are screaming and running away, throwing rocks at you and whatnot. You think that's pretty rude of them. You haven't even done anything yet. Put on a show, change your mind and leave. Put on a show. Put on a show. <gasps> oh, oh, no my man. Oh, God. Man. He's got a cane. <laughs> oh, my God. You, I'm whacking him with my cane. You oh, he is. <laughs> he is he a cane. Is. He has the uh, Monopoly Man mustache. <laughs> you the Pringles guy. <laughs> the Pringles guy. <laughs> you attack the nearest human. He is old and weak, and his bones crunch delightfully. Oh my god, why do you have to describe it like that? <laughs> Your audience's screams grow louder. Applause. You think, hey, this is actually pretty fun. I should have taken revenge like this a lot sooner. <laughs> well, he's like... <laughs> Uh, he said I should have taken revenge like this sooner, but like, what is he taking right. revenge for? <laughs> maybe, maybe because Hero slaughtered his friends. I don't know. In the past, who knows? I guess so. Oh, the hero's still there! Oh my oh gosh. gosh! As you continue your bloodthirsty dance, striking the villagers down, you fail to notice a sword-wielding hero running toward you. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my! <laughs> he takes you out in one swift blow. You just, you're just a demon underling after all. Oh my god. You're smiling though. Me? He's smiling. Right? As you die, you think that was totally worth it. Oh my god. <laughs> Better than sitting around doing security. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that indeed. The curtain closes. That was good. Performer, Performer underling, underling, and. Oh, oh, that one. That's a good That story. was a nice one. We, we can end it here. <laughs> yeah, we did pretty good. We did a lot of endings. Yeah, it was good. I still wish you could have saved from the uh, heist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I hope there's a way to save the Overlord, though. Yeah, I really do wish. Hope. But no, no matter what, it's bad end theater, so some type of bad yeah. ending has to happen. But... All right. So uh, I guess uh, outro time. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me as we played Bad in Theater. Uh, once again I have been joined with Alpha Siri. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my thing. <laughs> and uh go check out her channel. She has a lot of awesome content. <laughs> and <laughs> with that said, no matter what your time zone may be, have a good morning, afternoon, and evening. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.